heights, so we're talking chipping, wedges, short shots into greens. So something that a lot of people are gonna struggle with. I see something regularly that people get significantly wrong in their action, which is really hindering them how they play the shots. And chipping's not hard, it's quite simple, and this is how it's done. Right, so chipping's definitely something that a lot of people struggle with, and there's definitely one thing that I see when people play their chip shots that they get wrong, and it really hinders them on how they play it. And it's this, it's dead simple. So the setup, we'll do a, just a standard normal setup for a chip shot. So we're gonna talk ball position relatively central, slightly back of central, weight forward. So the easiest way to do that is point your knees towards the hole, and then just open up your stance a little bit relative to, like, to the path that you're trying to hit. What I see people get wrong is not using the bounce, not using the wedge properly, and it really hinders them in these sort of shots. And it's not difficult to hit a chip shot, but loads of people get it wrong. When you hit the wedge, the leading edge gets involved, that can dig down into the ground and take some deep divots, you'll hit it fat even on these short shots, or sort of thin it and hit it through the back of the green. What happens is, as people play the shot, they come in and really feel like they push the handle of the club forward a lot, sort of shove it forward. Um, and that's just not how it's meant to be used. You've got to use the bounce on the wedge and you've got to work on the arc. It is not that you can stand there, set yourself up, swing, shove the handle forward, put it into that position and expect to hit a good shot. You will do every now and then, sure, but it's not gonna be that consistent. Use the bounce a little bit more efficiently, you're gonna hit more regularly, hit good shots. And more importantly, when you hit bad shots, you're gonna get away with it. Now what I like to get people to do is to get the feeling that as they swing, a little bit more wristy as they take the club away into this position, but don't let the hand, the left hand get too far past the left leg. So as you come in, you swing down, set the speed in the swing, and you can almost sort of slow down as you're coming into impact, but keep the hands nice and close to the body. And then as you come in, sort of you can either stun the club there, which is gonna give you a slightly lower flight, or if you increase the right hand a little bit more and allow the club head to accelerate a little bit higher, that's gonna give you a slightly higher flight. So I've got a 52 degree wedge here. This is what it should look like. So set myself up, as I say, slightly open to the, to the ball to target line. Ball relatively central or back. A couple of practice swings. I feel like my hand is not getting too far past my left leg. And then hit the shot. Okay. And then if I want to vary that a little bit, so that's a nice little sort of run-in shot. If I get the feeling that my right hand accelerates a little bit more and lengthen the arc of the shot, or I lengthen the arc of the swing, it'll put the ball slightly higher in the air. So you can play that shot depending on how you want the ball to run. So if you want to float it a little bit more, you can play the second one, or you can sort of stun it if you want to play it a little bit more low and grabby. But if you have got five minutes and you want to be longer, stronger, and straighter, make sure that you hit that video and watch it.